All right, so in this video, I wanna be showing you guys how to create this 3D light trail effect inside of After Effects. Now, I actually saw this effect first on one of Redmond's videos on Instagram. So I got pretty inspired by that because I've honestly never seen something like this before. And when I came across it, I just had to try to create something similar to that. So I created something a few days ago and I went ahead and posted a little snippet of it on YouTube. And I asked if you guys wanted to see a tutorial on this. And it's safe to say that you guys definitely wanna see how it's done. Now, this effect doesn't look exactly like what you may have seen on Instagram or something like that from like Redmond for example and to be honest there's actually many ways you can create this effect but for this tutorial i actually wanted to go ahead and create this effect without using any plugins at all so all you need is just after effects and a video of your car and your set now the first thing that we need to do for our clip here is 3d track our footage so we're going to right click this and hit track and stabilize and hit track camera and in my case right here the analyst actually failed so if that happens to you then you might want to go up here and change this to variable zoom and that might fix your problem and if you're still having issues then you might want to try pre composing your clip first and then applying the 3d camera tracker to it afterwards and hopefully that solves your problem but we're not going to be using a 3d camera tracker right now and instead we're actually going to go up to this pen tool right here and make sure that nothing is selected and we're just going to create a little line like this and if you drag the points like this you can kind of curve it so I'm just gonna create a little line here and I want it to go into the car like this. And for your settings, you wanna make sure that the fill is nothing. And if your fill is in blank right here, you just wanna hold alt on your keyboard and just click through this right here until it is crossed out. And same thing for the stroke, you just wanna make sure that it is a solid color and we can change this color to like a blue. The color won't totally matter later on in the video because we will be changing that. But for the width right here, we can change this to like 100 and I kinda like how that looks. But we can always change that later on. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide this layer real quick so we can see our 3d camera tracker so let's just select that 3d camera tracker again and i'm going to select a few points on the ground here let me be like this and i'm going to right click it and hit create null and camera and now we have this new null and a 3d tracked camera layer right here and i'm just going to bring the shape layer to the top and make it visible again and we're going to take this little parent tool and we're gonna parent it to this null object. And as you can see, nothing happened. That's because it is not 3D yet. So we wanna make sure that this 3D object is selected. So now it is 3D tracked to the ground, but it's very small. So we wanna go ahead and hit S and scale it up. And also if you hit R on your keyboard, you can rotate it around. And hitting P on your keyboard will make it so you can open up the position value so you can move it around. And if you don't like how the line is looking, you can also go back into the pen tool here. And then you can select these little points here and just mess with the lines. Kind of curve them around because they're going to look a bit different once they're 3d and as you can see this point for some reason went all the way off the screen so we're going to go ahead and drag that back over here so i'm not totally sure what happened there but we're just going to fix that and kind of move these where we like them to be. Now what we can do is offset these paths here so we get two of them instead of one so i'm just going to go ahead and open up the shape layer right here and we're going to hit add and offset pass and inside the offset pass right here we can just Bring this up and then also mess with the stroke uh, width here. So we can scale that down, bring this closer together like that. So this is totally optional if you want to use this. But I kind of liked how it turned out having it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and use this offset pass. And once you have that, we just want to go ahead and add one more thing. So let's go back into this little add option right here. And you want to select trim pass and then open that one up right here. And make sure that this is above your offset pass right here. So then when you mess with these keyframes, they will actually work. So I'm gonna set the end to 0% and set a keyframe for that. And then go to the very end of the clip and bring this all the way back up to 100. And we could select these keyframes and hit F9 and then go into the graph editor and then just create a super simple speed ramp like this. And there we go that's all we need so we can exit out of there and now we can start adding the effects to our line here now the first effect that i'm going to add is cc blobalize so we're going to look that up here and we're going to bring it onto our layer and just go ahead and copy the settings for this i have the softness at 20 and the cutaway at zero and once you have that we can go ahead and add another effect called cc glass and then once you have that you just want to bring your softness to eight and your height to 100. Now let's go ahead and add some glow. So I'm just gonna use the default glow here, but you can use other glow if you want, but I'm just gonna make this without any plugins. So we're just using the default After Effects glow. And I'm gonna bring the glow threshold to 10%. 
and the glow radius to 100. Now an optional effect that you can add or not add if you guys want is actually drop shadow. So I'm gonna bring this to like 60% for the opacity and make the distance 80 and the softness 80 as well. So now you can see there's a bit of a shadow here. It kind of matches the car in this footage. So that's something that's optional. Um, you don't have to use it if you want, but I kind of like how it looks in here. Now the last effect that we can add to here is a gradient. So we're just gonna search up four color gradient right here and make sure that this is at the top of your effects here. And now you can see you get this crazy gradient that actually looks pretty cool. It's a super simple effect to use. So we can just mess with the colors here. Let's go for like a blue and white kind of theme. And there we go. That is pretty much the finished effect here. And once again, you don't need to keep these effects exactly as how I have them here. So we can mess with the softness. And as you can see, just by messing with this, you can get a totally different look. Now, another thing you can add to this effect is messing with the blend mode right here. And if you're not seeing that, you just wouldn't go down here and toggle this on. And in the modes right here, we can change this to overlay. Now it's pretty subtle, but it may look different for your footage. So have fun messing with the different blend modes here. And the last thing I would add is just a little color grade so it kind of just helps bring everything together but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out